So the Bible talks about bitterness and sweetness. You know, uh, obviously honey is sweet, right? But, you know, all throughout the scriptures, you know, like the, the, the disciples were going through a lot of hard times, but in the end, they taste the sweetness of the hard times. They, basically, that it produces character, uh, pe uh, perseverance, patience, long-suffering, you know, love, all these beautiful traits, right? But the bitterness of life is what produced that. And the revelation that I felt that God was giving me was that anybody that chases sweetness in their stomach, it will turn sour. But anybody that that does the opposite and they go after sweet um, bitterness, and what I mean by that is is that the people and we could all testify to the truth of this. The people that that, that grind and that work hard, that's a bitter type of thing, right? Everybody doesn't want to do that. They want to lay back, watch TV, and just that they want that sweet life. But the opposite comes to pass for the person that wants to live a sweet life. The Bible says that poverty will come upon that person that's lazy, right? And apprehend that person. Now, the opposite is true to that where if a person is living a hard life, usually uh, there's sweetness that comes and that God rewards that person that lives uh, a hard life, right? Uh, in a roundabout way, the, the toughness about uh, the, the sh just the things that have gone wrong. Um, for example, homeless people are very close to God. They can hear God's voice. God is with them. Um, we know this because Jesus Christ said, When you fed them, you are doing this unto me. This was um, uh, Jesus Christ saying that like, these, are, these are my people because everybody shuns them and, and forsakes them and, and looks down on them. But Jesus was humble and Jesus um, never wanted to exalt himself on earth. It was always to serve. So he was part of the, the, the character trait of, you know, even he was homeless. Jesus was homeless. He didn't have a, a place to rest his head, you know. And um, so, long story short, is that the bitter life, in terms of putting yourself last, you will then become first later on. That the first will be last, and the last will be first. The people that the people that have everything today, you know, uh, there was a man that that was rich, and he had all of the the wealth on on life, and he, so he was exalted on earth. Uh, I believe his name was uh, Lazarus. And so then the story goes that... No, I'm sorry. His, Lazarus was the one that went to heaven. There was another uh, man that was rich. And I forgot his name. I don't know if his name was given. But Lazarus was poor. And this rich guy was rich. So the rich guy in the end of the story was burning in hell. He was very, very... Um, was being tormented but somehow he could see the guy that he would always see on earth that was a beggar he was poor and this guy was being comforted in heaven and how this applies it's it's almost like the saying that says like cry now laugh later or laugh now cry later it's uh saying that i i i just believe that god will make up for the people that are crying now you will, you will laugh later. Um, and the scriptures back that up. It says that he will wipe away every tear from your eye. You will forget the former things. And the rewards that that are awaiting for you far exceed any suffering that you went through on earth. So, you know, I just, it, it, to encapsulate the whole video, I would just say that, you know, it's the bitter things that, 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 people run away from but it's those things that god his heart is there it's it's in the the storms it's in the hard stuff it's in the you know the the, the suffering that god is close to the brokenhearted and uh contrite spirit and humbleness and humility he's close to um people that are going through a hard time he wants to be their god when they are weak he is strong and he wants to 
help them on the journey, right? But a person that's a rich man, as Jesus put it, you know, it's it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into heaven because they don't feel like they need God, right? They look at God and they're like, I got Benjamins, you know, I can buy anything I want. And um, so the whole thing there has to do with uh, they're living a, a sweet life. But because they, they die without God, um, you know, the bitterness comes afterwards. So God bless you.